Andrew Gupta, I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today's video is entitled My Heart Risk Calculator. Okay, so the first thing to say is that when we experience chest pain, chest pain is a very unsettling symptom, but it's also a very scary symptom. And one of the scary aspects, uh, one of the things that makes us scared is the idea that if we're experiencing chest pain, does it signify something going on with our heart? And does it indicate that we may be at risk of something bad happening, a heart attack or even death, if we experience chest discomfort? The problem is chest discomfort can be caused by lots of things. It can be caused by indigestion, it can be caused by uh, a chest infection, it can be musculoskeletal. So in the middle of the night when someone experiences chest discomfort, um, you know, patients are all often left in a dilemma. They say, okay, I'm experiencing a bit of chest discomfort. It could be anything. How do I know whether I should go and seek help? And if there was some way in which a person could work out what their risks are, then it may help make that decision easier for that patient. So the first thing I would say is to anyone, and anyone can have a heart attack at any time. And if you are getting bad chest discomfort, it makes sense to go into a hospital and get checked out. And I'll tell you, the first reason to go and get checked out is because wherever you go, they can do an ECG. And sometimes an ECG can easily just show a heart attack. And in those patients, the diagnosis is made, clear cut, you take, keep the patient in and you address the heart attack as quickly as possible. But in those people who come in with chest discomfort and they don't have typical changes with, along with a heart attack, how do you determine what their future risk is? And this is where this very interesting calculator comes in and it's called the HEART calculator. HEART is actually an acronym. HEART stands for history, H for history, E for EKG. A for age, R for risk factors, and T for troponin, which is a blood test that is measured when people go into hospital. And if you can use this, all the parameters in the heart score, you can get a much more reliable estimate of what future risk is going to be. But the important thing to understand is that that therefore means that you have to go to hospital to try and work that risk out because the troponin and the EKG can only really be done in the hospital. But I'm going to just try and talk you through it. So if you're getting bad chest pain, these are the things you have to think of. History, okay? What is the nature of chest discomfort? Now, if the chest discomfort is very atypical, if you're getting a sharp pain here and here, uh, it's not related to physical exertion, it's very localized, it's like a stabbing, that makes it quite atypical. If it's atypical, give yourself zero points for the heart score. If it's a little bit uh, suspicious, such as if you have had one episode of heaviness in the chest, which has lasted about five minutes, or and otherwise you've been fine and you've been able to just go about your day-to-day -day duties and you're exercising, nothing's happening, I would give that patient one on the heart score. If the discomfort is like a heaviness, like someone sitting on the chest, etc., I would give that patient two because that makes it a lot more likely. So that is the H bit done. You score it from zero to two. Zero for very atypical discomfort, very localized, sharp, etc. Two for very uh, convincing heart discomfort, heaviness, tightness, constriction, etc. Next thing is EKG. Obviously, if your EKG definitely shows you're having a heart attack, well, that takes you out of this calculator because that's made the diagnosis. If the EKG is completely normal, you get zero. If the EKG just shows some changes with the heart, but no changes in the ST segments, which are the main changes that we look for, then one. And if the ECG shows EKG changes, which are ST changes, uh, you know, you develop ST segment depression or something like that, then you get two points. Age. If you're under the age of 45, you get zero points. If you are between 45 and 64, you get one point. If you're above the age of 64, you get two points. R, risk factors. Risk factors include high blood pressure, diabetes, excessive weight, a family history of premature coronary disease, premature heart attacks, first degree relatives below the ages of 50 with heart attacks, etc. That's a risk factor. Smoking is a risk factor. Peripheral artery disease is a risk factor. If you've had previous heart attacks or stents or bypasses, that's a risk factor. So if you have no risk factors, you get zero points. If you have one to two risk factors, you get one point. And if you have more than two risk factors, you get two points. 
And finally, the troponin. Troponin is a blood test that should be measured about six hours after the onset of chest discomfort. If the troponin is not elevated at all, zero points. If the troponin is elevated to between one and three times uh, the normal value, then you get one point. If it's way above three times the normal value, then you get two points. And what you do then is you calculate all the, the numbers up and calculate a score. If the score is between zero and three, then the risks are generally low of something bad happening to you, i.e. a heart attack or, um, or death or even having to require an urgent procedure on your heart. So over six weeks, the risks are low in the order of 0.9 to 1.7%. So those are the risks, okay? So it's not zero, the risk is not 0%. And therefore, if you get chest discomfort, you still need to get checked out by a cardiologist. But the idea is that if you have only those that score, then the risks are in general low. If you're scoring between four and six, then the risks are in the order of about 12 to 16% of something bad happening within the next six weeks. And if you're scoring more than seven, then the risks are 50 to 65% of something bad happening within the next six weeks. So the idea is that your overall risk when you get chest discomfort is not determined by whether you think the discomfort is coming from the heart or not, but who you are, your age, your risk factors, and all these other things that you can only be determined in the hospital, such as what the ECG shows and the troponin shows. So the message really is it's a mistake to base decisions on, oh, I'm fine, uh, the pain only lasted 10 minutes. More importantly, always say, am I 65? Have I got diabetes? Do I have other risk factors? If you have those, regardless of what the pain feels like, go to hospital, get an ECG, get some troponins, get your risk worked out. If your risks are low, you'll be allowed to go home, but then go and see a cardiologist and have the test done as an outpatient. So I hope you find this um, useful. I think it's crucial to stress again, early assessment is crucial. Do not wait, get the test done early. But I hope this calculator helps. All